Welcome back to Sunny with a Chance of Funny. I'm your host, Calvin Evans. This week's entertainment headlines have been filled with celebrities not doing stuff, not standing up, not letting the police in their house, and now not wearing makeup. Earlier this year, Alicia Keys suave makeup. This is her reasons why. Alicia made her decision to lose the makeup in May when she wrote a piece in Lena Dunham's Lenny letter, saying, quote, I don't want to cover up anymore. Not my face, not my mind, not my soul, not my thoughts, not my dreams, not my struggles, not my emotional growth, nothing. Alicia made her makeup-free red carpet debut at the BET Awards in June. During the VMAs this past weekend, Alicia Keys showed up plain Jane, and of course the internet has something to say about it, but I personally thought she looked fine. Her skin was clear, she was dressed nice. Like, I've never looked at a woman without makeup and said to myself, fuck going on with old scratch paper face over here. But I understand, some women take joy in being made up all the time, but when they don't have their makeup on, they think they look like this. We got way too much in common. My biggest pet peeve when it comes to women in makeup is when you get ready to go out with your girl and you're like, come on, let's go. You've been taking all day. Let's get the hell out of the house. And she's like, no, nah, I got to put my makeup on. And you're like, no, nah, you look fine. Come on. But in her eyes, she look like this. Babe, the movie's starting in 15 minutes. Come on, you slowing us up. Babe, I just need God, like five damn. minutes to do my hair and put my eyebrows and my face on. Okay, don't rush me, okay? Shit, hey, t take your time. Take, Hey, take all the time you need. My only other problem with makeup is that when you watch the commercials, they always make you feel like something wrong with you. Does your skin look fucked up? Sure it does. Are you tired of people popping shit about you online? You have to be. What are you waiting for? Head down to the cosmetic store and pick up some makeup so you can cover up that mild to severe plaque psoriasis looking shit on your face. What are you waiting for? Put some on. Don't stop. Keep going. You're almost there. You almost look like a human being. God, you're fugly. Don't stop. You're almost there. Keep going. With just a little bit of makeup, or in her case, a lot of makeup, you can look amazing too. All you have to do is spend about an hour a day just putting makeup on your face so people will accept you in society. See, she went from fugly to fuckable. What are you waiting for? Get down to the cosmetic store today and get you some makeup. This leads me to my topic discussion today. Is beauty still in the eye of the beholder even if they have astigmatism? Nobody judges you more than you, and we always try to put our best selves out there, especially on social media. The euphoria of a bunch of likes on our pictures and videos is unmatched, and sometimes I wonder why. Is it the gratification of the confirmation of being accepted? Before the like and comment button, it didn't matter what we posted because we were free of judgment, and you accepted you for who you were. Let me know what y'all think. Is it possible to live an unfiltered life in this social media age of posturing? To stop saying look at me and start saying this is me. To turn off the Ludwig, Valencia, and Inkwell filters and accept you for you and like it. Leave some comments down below. I've been your host Calvin Evans. You're watching Sunny with a Chance of Funny. I'm out.